It's a packed house here at Barry's. The Allied Steel Building Dodge of Derek Lynch leads the Pizza Pizza 300 lap 213 in the 11th round of the 2008 NASCAR Canadian Tire Series campaign here on TSN. That's the spotter telling his guy to stay low, but look at that 22 car from the outside, just drove it into one from the outside in, hit the inside apex and drove away. That's the first time all night anybody's been able to get a good bite off the high line on the restart. Scott Steckley does it. Who else really as Steckley continues to dominate here in the 2008 season, now leading here in the Pizza Pizza 300. Whoa, Whoa contact got... the four into the side of the ninth. Oh, Dilly oh. does a great job. Wow, Dilly looked like a late model dirt pilot there. Sideways, sideways, saved it up off the corner. What a job. Don Thompson Jr. let him get it back. But now Mark Dilly going back to work on the rear of the four home hardware Chevy. Dilly wants to get back down to the inside line. Unfortunately, that line was plugged by the 19 of Brad Graham. Well, it's like deja vu all over again. Like last last week at Cuga, we seen somebody get punted up to the outside, and he just kept losing spot after spot after spot. And now Dilly's heading for the back. On board, DJ Kennington looking back to that battle for sixth position between the one of Peter Gibbons and the ninth of Mark Dilly. Look at them lean on each other all the way around this speedway. Wow, short track racing at his best, but back up front is the 22, tow truck in a box. Scott Steckley just driving away. The 77 of Derek Lynch in second, and they have opened up quite a back. A gap to the 39 car of Dave Whitlock, who is currently running third in the Dickies Dodge Adventure. You can watch Derek Lynch. He drives it deep into the corner and catches him. And then look, watch this. The 22 just drives off the corner, taking all the, all those lengths back. And how about Dave Whitlock running third? Oh, Whoa. we got trouble. But the 17 of DJ Kennington going around. Now caution comes out as Kennington unable to refire the Castrol Dodge. Well, down into the corner of the 19. And oh, DJ just gets hooked up on the left rear of the 19 car. And around it goes. So DJ Kennington, as we get another look from a different angle. Wow, he was hard on the gas to keep that thing off the fence. Tough luck for DJ. He was down on the inside to take the spot. Wheel to wheel contact and around he went. The field all lined up for the restart once again here in the Pizza Pizza 300. Can Derek Lynch do it off the outside this time? Sean Gibbs with a green flag and we're back underway. Whoa, contact the 22, puts a, a door on him, moves him up, and there the 77 the second spot. I was just gonna say, how about the run by Dave Whitlock so far here this evening? Whoa. Whitlock gets together with a 77 of Lynch and over! Over goes Dave Whitlock on the front straightaway, a barrel roll as the caution flag flies. Now the red flag comes out as Dave Whitlock over on his roof. That was our onboard camera still operating upside down. Now I watched this unfold. The 77 gets back into the back of the 22. Everybody checks up. Wick goes up over the left side of the 77, and it just started tumbling. It looked like the rim uh, anchored it into the asphalt and started it flipping over. And you can see it moving around in there, so that is some great news as an NASCAR official is down by the passenger side window attending to the driver of the Dickies Dodge Avenger, Dave Whitlock. So it looks like Whitlock is moving in there, which is great news. We'll take another look how this Here's unfolded. Here's the replay, just like I called it. The 77 into the 22 goes around. Whitlock's trying to get down to the bottom out of trouble. He ends up going over the left front tire. The car gets up on his side, hooks a rim. There, roof up over, down on the driver's side, back up over again. This is a tough ride. Here and we go. Oh, this is exciting ride. Dave Whitlock going for the ride of his life. That's going to hurt. That one right there where that car came down very, very hard on the left rear. Look at J.R. Fitzpatrick up against the wall. He and D.J. Kennington. Kennington was right up underneath the 84 of Fitzpatrick. And a whale of a job by the driver of the 84 to stay off that driver's door on the 39. Wow. Listen to that onboard camera. That thing just bang, bang on the roll cage. Here's one more look. Oh, J.R. Fitzpatrick hard in the brakes, DJ in the backup. DJ tore the fender, the nose, the right side door, everything off that big green machine. A very violent ride. We're still there. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Hang on. Go higher, you all right? And really, one more 
do you say, but hang on when the car is rolling down the front straightaway. And how about this? Dave Whitlock out and under his own power as he heads to the ambulance. Well, Dave under his own power, but he's a big guy. You gotta remember, in these race cars, very, very confined, and Big Dave had to crawl out through the window. Oh, and he gets the worst of it as he jumps into the ambulance. Hits his head, we're under red flag condition. Scott Steckley is your leader. Welcome back to the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series. We're glad to report that Dave Whitlock has been cleared by the medical team. He has checked out A-OK. -okay. Well, he's a big lad. He's in great shape. It's good to hear that David is OK. And all the safety equipment he wears, the hands device, all the harnesses, and all the safety that NASCAR enforces here in the Canadian Tire Series did its job as well. You see all the oil drive flying down the front stretch as the boys went to green. That Ford Don Thompson Jr. to the high side, trying to get the lead back off that 22 Dodge. And a great run, the home hardware Chevy has down the front trip. Steckley gets in too hard and he gets into him. They touch up in corner number one and here comes Whoa, McComb. Oh, Joey McComb out of nowhere drives into the side of the number four. And Chevrolet. Joey McComb was running in the 10th position at absolutely nowhere to go. Tom Thompson able to drive away from this one. Doesn't look like McComb will be as lucky as the wheel is off that number 49 trailers by Jim Ray of Venture. And so obviously the caution out once again. Here's the replay down in the corner. Steckley in too hot. Too much rear brake. Comes around. He gets up into Donnie. Donnie goes around. The caution's trying to go. Bang! The 49 out of nowhere drives into the side of Don Thompson Jr. We're on board with Donnie. And here comes the worst part. That's where Joey McComb caught the right side passenger door, not the rear wheel, which is lucky for Thompson. As Kennington comes down pit lane, crew works on the right side. Thompson gets some service as well, and John standing by with the 39 Dickies team. The Dave Whitlock 39 Dickies Dodge on the hauler. Joe LaPointe having a look at it. First off, how is Dave, and then tell us how is the car. Dave's a fine little shaken up, bumped and bruised. Um, the car, it needs a little bit of work, but we'll get her ready. <laughs> it may need more than a little bit of work, guys, if this car is going to race at Riverside in a couple of weeks. But best news is that Dave Whitlock, okay, all the safety equipment did its job. Well, they'll be ready for sure. Joey works full-time in the shop. He's a very capable fabricator. And besides that, Dave Whitlock has a few more cars at his disposal. We'll restart number 12. The action is picking up here in the latter stages of the Pizza Pizza 300. Look at the damage to the 22 of Scott Steckley after that contact with the number four of John Thompson Jr. How about Gibbons on the outside driving it in a ton? Well, Peter Gibbons hard on the gas chasing that number 22. He knows he's wounded. He wants to get after him. Billy Smart's coming from the tow truck in a box number 22. What could be causing that? Well, we got a fender brace on the right front. Oh, Peter Gibbons misses the apex as well, slides up the racetrack, and the 0-2 carry Mix was there to steal the spot. So Mix up to second. How about John gone in the Centennial number 12? Gone with that body damage to the nose as we've got 37 laps to go, and now gone ducks underneath the wall to Peter Gibbons. Well, we got a bunch of our, our known suspects running up front. Don Thompson Jr. recovering from the spin. He's going around the outside of the nine, trying to get that spot. Oh, contact between the four and the nine. Well, at this point, Don Thompson Jr. has to be driving angry. He wants to get back out to the front by far. Look, he's got to be up on the seat driving with those elbows out. Wow, Donnie's just a fierce competitor. He'll be just chewing on that steering wheel trying to get back to the front. Don't forget to vote for your favorite driver. Just log on to NASCAR.ca and follow all the directions as we ride on board with Mark Dilley. get a run up off the corner. He's up underneath the 19 at Graham side by side to turn one. Almost three wide going down the front straightaway as Dilly will pick up Graham going down into quarter number one. Gibbons pulls back out in front of the 12 car of John Gunn is a battle nose to tail. Here comes the 84 of J.R. Fitzpatrick up on the outside. Wow, these cars, they resemble a lot of short track racing here tonight, but man, this is great action. Believe it or not, one car with very few marks on it is the 0-2 of Kerry Mix. He's been able to come back through the field and do it with a very, very clean race car. He's running second. But up front in a bruised and battered car is Scott Steckley in the 22 car. This guy can do no wrong. There's his crew looking on. We'll be back with more after this.